Hey, 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 thanks for stopping by my channel today. If you're here for the very first time, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. Today, I am participating in a collaboration with four other beautiful and amazing, talented DIYers, content creators, crafters, all of that here on YouTube. And I am excited because we are all using pizza pans from the Dollar Tree. You've seen it in the thumbnail, and that's what we got going on. So I'll chat up about that a little bit later. Let's go ahead and get into the video. So if you're interested in seeing what I have created, and they are all for my guest room, then keep on watching. All right, for my very first pizza pan um, project. I have the pizza pan and I also have some of that contact paper that you can get from the Dollar Tree. Now, I want to go ahead and give you all a heads up. I did not edit this video in the order that I did these projects. So you'll see some things a little bit backwards and then some not. So nevertheless, just keep on watching, okay? So what I'm doing here is I'm trying to um, measure out the contact paper that I'm going to need. And so it's not quite working this particular way. So I am going to have to use something else that's pretty much close to the size um, of the bottom of the pan so that I can be able to trace it out. So I'm using one of these um, little platters right here that you can get from the Dollar Tree as well. And I'm just tracing the bottom out because I did measure it and it fits perfect on top of the um, pizza pan. And I'm just going to go ahead and cut it out. Made that circle and I'm going to go ahead and trim that circle out. Okay. So also what I'm going to do is take some sanding paper and I am going to sand down the edges of it because I am going to be painting, okay? And um, later on, you'll see me actually mix the paint because I actually did that project first, but I decided to put it, edit the video this way. And that's what I was speaking in terms of earlier. So we're just gonna go ahead and get it sanded down and we're gonna get it painted. So keep on watching. All right, so all we did was just paint the edge. I'm going to go ahead and take that contact paper and lay this down. I'm going to take some of these letter stickers that you can get from Hobby Lobby and I'm just going to spell out a phrase and then embellish it and we're going to create a beautiful sign door hanger sign or whatever you would like to um, hang this in your space. All right, so we made a little messy bow and I took one of the little gems that you can get from the Dollar Tree, the crystal gems, and I'm adding a hanger to the back. I'm gonna secure it with some leftover popsicle sticks that I had and that is going to be it for this. But I noticed that um, the edges were showing and I didn't wanna cover it up with any type of roping or anything. And so I decided to just dab some of that paint all around the edges to camouflage that and that is it i decided to hang it on the wall in the guest bedroom and not hang it on the door but it will be versatile sometimes i may change my mind and hang it on the door it really just depends but i absolutely love how this turned out All 
right, so yes, we have a freestyle pizza pan collab today, and I'm going to chat it up about these dolls real quick. We have, first off, Felicia from The OK Media Life. This is the lamp queen, okay? Do y'all see this lamp right here? Do you see this lamp right here? This doll is so creative, so talented. She's she's just mind blowing with her skills. Okay, this is another beautiful um, wall decor that she's created here on her channel, y'all. You have to go over to her channel and show her some love. Not only does the chick can build and all that stuff, this doll can cook as well. All right, so check her out going on over to my craft sister donna y'all from my channel oldest but good as y'all know the creole crafter the creole crafter is the farm house queen yes i'm going to say it she is the farmhouse queen this lady can take anything and make it look old and rustic and farmhouse her projects are so uniquely done and they're done with such love and the soft tone of her voice and the way she strokes everything. It's just, Donna is just really, really talented. And don't mention her wood projects, okay? Moving on to Joy from Joyful Designs. Sweet Joy. Always, I can tell she's always smiling because she's just a sweetheart. Joy loves creating planters. Look at this Chester Draw planter. Now, who would have came up with such a thing? Okay, no, <laughs> but Joy does. Joy thinks out of the box, and that's what I love about her. And she does some phenomenal things. We have a lot in common when it comes to crafting because we both love creating planters. We both love creating trays as and such. And look at this nautical rope tray, y'all. The bomb.com. All right. Now, sweet K from at home with K. Now, K and I have collabed several times. This woman is phenomenal. I'm going to call her the painting queen. Because when I tell you this lady knows how to paint, look at this picture. She hand painted this picture. Kay is just so dedicated to making everything look so realistic and so nice and neat. She's a Mackenzie Childs fan. And look at how she took her time and painted these squares, y'all. I would have been all out of line, all over the place, baby. Okay? And not to mention her food crafts. Y'all, <laughs> look at this. It looks edible, okay? So, Kay will not be joining us today because she has some family issues. So, please keep her in prayer, all right? So, we're going to go ahead and get back into it. So, keep on watching. All right, this time I am going to be using two pizza pans, okay? And what I'm going to do is take the sanding sheet and sand down the back of one of them and then sand down the front of the other, okay? And then we are going to uh, move on to the next step. So keep on watching. Okay, I'm going to take some of those clear gems that you can get from the Dollar Tree and I am going to glue these all around the rim of the bottom of that tray that I sanded down the back. All right, so I painted around the edge like I did the very first one and then I have these little Christmas trees, y'all wooden Christmas trees I painted them with that same gray paint and that's a mixture and I am applying the contact paper again and I am just going ahead and camouflage around the edges of that paper and uh, we'll move on to the next step
So now I am gluing down the little Christmas trees on the tray with the gems on the bottom of that tray. And what I'm going to do here now is take some Gorilla Glue and I'm trying to give a generous amount and I will use a little bit of hot glue as well. Um, you know, using the Gorilla Glue, you can it's not going to adhere right away. So I decided, okay, I know where I want to put it and how it's really fitting. So now I'm just going to add the hot glue and I am going to put some little weight to it and uh, let it dry. And here is the final look off camera around the very edge of the bottom tray. I did go in with the paint because it was just that shiny silver. I didn't paint it before. So I did go over the edge with it to blend it in. It looks a whole lot better. I absolutely love this tray, y'all. I think it turned out so doggone beautiful. And I love, love, love to hear your thoughts. Simply gorgeous. All right. Now we're down to the last one. Now we, because it's a freestyle, we decided, hey, make as many as you want. If you only want to do one, that's fine. If you want to do 10, that's fine. It's really up to each individual content creator. So I am just sanding down the edges as I've done in the previous ones. And in this video here, well, this part of the video, you'll see me mix the paint because this was actually the very first um, project that I started on and I just decided to put it at the end of the video, okay? And um, so what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and get it painted. And all I'm doing is just taking an old um, can, paint can, and just mixing it all up in there. I did use way more white than I did black, and I wanted to use the can, so whatever is left over, um, I can have, but I wanted to make a, gen a, a decent amount because I knew I had to take care of all the projects. All right, I'm using these wooden dowels right here. It's two of them. They are 15.7 by something. I couldn't see all of that. Y'all was going too fast. But anyhow, in any way, I am going to paint those wooden dowels you can get from the Dollar Tree. And I'm painting them with that same mixture, okay? And I painted those off camera, so you will see them shortly. We're just doing the same exact thing that we did before, going around those edges to camouflage all right, so keep on watching. So happy Memorial Day, and I pray that all is well for everyone and that you all are enjoying your holiday weekend. I will have a vlog that I am going to be loading up um, from our holiday weekend and we're just so grateful for all of you that have served and gone on you know any family member that you had we thank you so very much um, for lending uh, us your family some of you all had to go without your dads and your moms while they were serving our country so I'm so grateful and now I'm taking these wooden dolls and I'm adding them to the bottom of this pan and guess what we have created us a little tray okay a standing tray or a table a table a table <laughs> well, we've created us a little table for the guest bedroom and i think it looks so so pretty um the items on the table i went on ahead and just created those off camera to make sure that everything just flows and has the color coordination together because um that's just how i like to do okay so if you've liked anything you've seen here today thumbs this video up okay that helps me out leave me a comment tell me what it is that you do like and remember if you're not a part of this family go ahead and consider joining by subscribing and make sure that you hit the bell as well now remember this is a freestyle pizza pan collab and so all these dolls channels will be linked below. Remember, Kate will not have a video loaded up, 
but her channel will be linked below so you can head over and check out some of those phenomenal things that she has done but Kay will be joining us next month so let me go ahead and give you one more last look at these three pizza pan DIYs I appreciate you all for watching the video from the beginning to the end. Blessings to you all. Remember to be kind everywhere you go. You never know who you're going to meet. And they just may need your kindness. You all continuously are a blessing to my channel. And I am grateful to each and every one of you. Newbies and oldies but goodies. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.